Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac, and today we're going to talk about some of the updates that teams brought to last weekend's Austrian Grand Prix. Now, we're going to start very quickly with Trackhouse Racing, and Trackhouse with Aprilia were running these little Stegosaurus-type wings at the back of the bike. There was no bridge across them or rear wing like we had normally seen, so it is an interesting um thing that they were doing this wasn't visible on maverick or alicia's bikes during the race weekend just the track house bikes but i suppose the main talking point over the weekend was red bull ktm's um bike with paul spagaro and here you can see the rear wing fairing cowling whatever you want to call it um, and, you know, the main structure of it is nothing new. We've seen underslung ones on the swing arms on Ducatis for a number of years, and they're not there now, but they had run them. But it is definitely a well-thought-out design. Um, if you look at, A, how it is manufactured, you know, it's not just duct-taped on. Um, but you can see the shape of it, um, and especially the how would you say the ridges at the the back of it you know you see those type of ridges on the back of an airplane so it's definitely trying to um not cause a disturbance when it comes off the back of the bike or aka drag or cause drag from the fairing the main structure of the fairing in my view is to clean up the airflow around the the rear wheel um and not cause drag so again it, it it is doing that function and then you see the little wing at the back with pole's number on it here is a different angle and you can see that it's actually a two element wing which is really impressive actually for something so small pole has said that it does make a difference now i'm not so sure it makes a massive difference but it does make some difference and um, also to note there as well red bull were running um a new exhaust system a the the end tips are a bit longer and um, but b you will see the big cross pipe between the two now i believe um he ran this in the sprint and the other one without the cross pipe in the main race on sunday overall i think it's kind of a really really strange idea that they brought it out I guess it was good to just to give it a test and see, but it's, it is giving other teams other ideas. Um, personally, as we as we know, you know it doesn't it doesn't do anything for the aesthetics of the bike. Um, but again, if it works, I suppose who am I to argue? Um, overall, though, I thought you know it is pretty interesting. Um, definitely interesting to see them working on the exhaust as well. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the updates that Aprilia and KTM brought at the Austrian Grand Prix? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.